Were there any issues with valve float on the TTE 710? So basically all Volkswagen Audi motors do valve float at some point. Mm -hmm. um, all motors. All, all engines, <laughs> yeah. but certainly all VAG motors like we're talking about. Um, and this is why they have red lines of typically, you know, six to 6,500 at the mm -hmm. highest. Uh, so once you start going above the factory red line, valve flow does become an issue. Well, and it's also impacted by, you know, cylinder pressures, manifold pressures, exhaust back pressures. Yes. There's, there's, a, there's a huge number of things more than just RPM, too. Yeah, but but a lot of it is the just the, in, in, in the inherent inertia of the valve train components. Uh, it's kind of like, you know, one of those ping pong paddles with the, the ball that's attached with a string, you know, and eventually the, the, the cam just slap the the tap it and it just sends the valve flying and the valve has so much inertia that it just it, it literally leaves the seat and, and comes back um, now if you have a lot of boost behind the valve that can push the valves open and you know there, there's there's a host of yeah issues. i mean it's just it, you're literally reducing your amount of spring pressure on the valve the more you know yeah. pressure you have by sitting on top of it from the so the way to deal with it is you increase valve spring pressure and you also lighten the components so you yep. use you start using titanium and things like that if you want to really get serious about it you go to a smaller valve stem and um, you go from a six mil valve stem to a five mil if you look at f1 motors that the entire valve train is very light and then there's the geometry of the valve train and all that kind of stuff too also camshaft ramp angles uh, you know, <laughs> camshafts are designed very specifically if, if they're still camshaft in there not to whack the valve, you know, yep. open. So yeah, and you'll have different profiles depending on the lifter. Then you know if it's hydraulic versus solid. Um, because but this is not a rate of collapse. But anyway, that's want to be clear. It's not a three point T specific issue. Oh. All motors do this. Uh, and yes, the the three point T does start doing it. You know, in the seven thousand RPM and higher range. Yep. With a bunch of boost. 